Hey everyone! <laughs> I'm back with the um, the videos from Recoil, but only because I have to, because um, I explained on the one yesterday, my car battery died and the AA said I have to take the car on a run to make sure it um, doesn't do it again, otherwise they're not coming out to help me and I can't do it myself. <laughs> anyway, little George is there with me and I'm outside number 64 Mount Pleasant and that is the place where John Lennon married Cynthia. Here we are. We're outside number 64 Mount Pleasant, which was once the town registry office. And this is where John married his first wife, Cynthia. Not very many guests, the family or um, Auntie Mimi didn't really approve. So along with John just came Paul McCartney, George Harrison and the Beatles manager, Brian Epstein. John was clever. He thought if Brian is invited to be best man, he'll probably pay for it. And he did. <laughs> so the window is there to the right. So it's that one. And there is a sign in the window that says, don't buy the sun, please don't buy the sun. There's a lot of um, stories behind that, that's for another day. But yeah, that's um, the building itself. So after the wedding, which was kind of marred because I believe a guy was outside doing roadworks and every time we tried to, every time they tried to say I do, his a pneumatic drill started off which set them into fits of laughter, which made the registrar more serious with them and which made them laugh even more. <laughs> then they went down into the Reese's Cafe, which is now a super drug store in town, and they um, they had just an ordinary wedding breakfast there before the band went off to play in Chester that evening. So that's it, number 64 Mount Pleasant. It's just had a big refurb. I think it's gonna be apartments now. Looks lovely inside and the rooms are beautiful. There's a fantastic fireplace in the room where John got married. And so it's um, it's had quite a few reincarnations over the years. They're always doing something to it, but now it's had a serious refurb, and I think it's going to be apartments. But don't hold me to that because they keep telling me different things. Also, to the left are the lovely purple Liverpool rubbish bins. <laughs> so there you go. That's it for today. I probably won't do so many of these. I'm just looking for little George here. There he is, George number two. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm out because, like I said earlier, because my car broke and I have to get out and run the engine. The engine is actually running now, by the way. It's just that um, it's hybrid and so it's um, quite... <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> anyway, I've lost the art of conversation. I really, really have. And hopefully it'll come back to me soon because that's no good if I'm a tour guide, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, bye-bye from George and me. Bye, everyone. <laughs>